Hi dancers, this is Miss Courtney and today is remote ballet tip number five. I'm going to be talking about how we can handle dancing on harder surfaces. Uh, a lot of us are on hardwood or concrete and it can cause Achilles tendonitis, it can cause shin splints, and thinking about what are ways that we can continue the sense of jumping, continue building that kind of musculature in the body without actually having that impact. And there's a couple things that we can do, of course, after the pain subsides from um, shin splints or Achilles tendonitis or anything you might be dealing with to build back. And so the first thing is releve, which seems very simple, and it is very simple, but there's a way to practice releve that resembles a jump. Often when we're doing a releve, it's this action of down and up and down and up. And if you wear point shoes, you know, the goal is to find that stability so that you could stay. Uh, it's different than a jump in that a jump has this circular energy motion. And that instead of this controlled down and up, down and up, you're having this sense of and a circle and a circle and a circle and a circle. And that's really important so that the jumps don't become like this. Which can, eat, which can exacerbate any kind of pain that you're having in your joints. We want to cushion our joints each time. And so that means that when we land, this foot opens up and it absorbs the impact. Um, and we're absolutely continuing to keep all of this strong. That helps to absorb the impact too, so that you're landing as light as possible. But if you're unable to jump, you can practice this just by imagining that flow of energy. So if I'm doing just releves, it might be plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve. And then if I'm imagining prepping for a jump, I can add the circular energy, plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve. It's a little bit more dynamic and just has a little different intention. It's more similar to what I feel like when I'm actually jumping. So that's the first tip. Second tip is when you're doing your normal ballet bar, bringing back these classic pushes off the floor with one foot. And so we're strengthening the foot muscles, those push off muscles, and then the ankle, the knee, and the hip joint, they just fold. And so I'm not lifting up from the knee like a marionette necessarily. I'm really, the only reason the knee goes up is because that foot is pushing down. And so adding a couple of those to your bar routine is a really nice thing to do. And then last but not least, our very favorite TheraBand exercises. Um, so they're pretty basic exercises. Just a little friendly reminder when we're doing them that you want to have the, the toes extend outward, so not crunch down, extend out, 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 out. Then when we put our point shoes back on, there's a nice solid platform to stand on. And when we're jumping, it's this pushing off the ground, not necessarily crunching, crunching in. And so just finding a TheraBand, there's tons of options online. And feel free to reach out if you want suge suggestions. I tend to do one that's not as firm so that I can really be sure I'm doing this correctly. And so when I find I find my center, so I'm not doing this uh, training, training bad habits on me. So I find my center, release right here, release this thigh, calm down, friend. Okay, cool. Then Extend from the absolute center of my leg out, and then lengthen, and bring it back, and whoop, gotta scoot back, and lengthen, and bring it back, and lengthen through the toes. I imagine that second toe reaching way out to hit the other part of the garage. And I'll do 10 of these like that, and then 10 with just the toes. And then repeat that three times. So you end up doing 30 of each. Relax it out. Get into a couple of those pressure points right down in there. Make sure it's fully released afterwards. And then do the other one. And so those are just some thoughts 
for uh, keeping the ability to jump if you can't actually jump for whatever reason. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't jump on hard surfaces if you're experiencing pain. See you guys soon.